Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner's daughter Violet attended the LA County Board of Supervisors meeting where she advocated for mask mandates in hospitals. The 18-year-old, who's often seen wearing a face mask, shared her experience of contracting a post-viral condition in 2019 and said she saw firsthand that medicine doesn't always have answers to the consequences of even minor viruses. To confront the long COVID crisis, I demand mask availability, air filtration, and far UVC light in government facilitates, including jails and detention centers, and mask mandates in county medical faculties, she stated in her passionate speech. The eldest daughter of the Argo director, 51, and the 13, going on 30 star, 52, who divorced in 2018, also strongly opposed mask bans. You must expand the availability of high-quality free tests and treatment, and most importantly the county must oppose mask bans for any reason. They do not keep us safer, she said. They make vulnerable members of our community less safe, and make everyone less able to participate in Los Angeles together. Violet first began by introducing herself, as she told the board, Hi, Violet Affleck, Los Angeles resident, first-time voter, I'm 18. She then shared, I contracted a post-viral condition in 2019. I'm okay now, but I saw firsthand that medicine does not always have answers to the consequences of even minor viruses. Violet then spoke about the COVID-19 pandemic and how one in 10 infections leads to long COVID, which is a devastating neurological, cardiovascular illness that can take away people's ability to work, move, see and even think. It stands to exacerbate our homelessness crisis, as well as the suffering of many people in our city. It hits communities of color, disabled people, elderly people, trans people, women and anyone in a public-facing essential job the hardest. The teen then went on to advocate for hospital mask mandates and mask availability. The Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors is the governing body for Los Angeles County, where Violet resides. The board holds regular meetings where the public can register to speak on specific issues. Violet received plenty of praise online for her mask stance. At 18, she has more courage than some people will ever have in their entire lifetimes, one person wrote. Amazing testimony. Violet is 100% on COVID Twitter. Thank you, another added. I wish more celebrities had the courage of Violet Affleck. She's only 18 years old and is doing more than any politician. Extremely impressive how much she fit into that one minute, someone else chimed in. Violet Affleck is Ben Affleck's daughter. She continues to be even more impressive as a teenager. I can't wait to see what she does as an adult. Violet has consistently been seen wearing a mask in the past years, though her parents never publicly explained why. She was seen wearing one at Michael Rubin's white party in 2023, recently in May 2024 while spending time with her mom, and while attending a Broadway show with Ben and her stepmom Jennifer Lopez. Garner and Affleck also share Finn, formerly Serafina, 15, and son Samuel, 12. The former pair met on the set of the movie Pearl Harbor in the early 2000s, but didn't start dating until later. In 2004, shortly after his first broken engagement to Lopez, the two sparked up a romance, before getting married in 2005. Violet was born that same year in December. Finn followed in 2009 and Samuel in 2012. The duo announced their separation in 2015 after nearly 10 years of marriage, and officially filed for divorce in 2017. Garner has since moved on with businessman John Miller. Meanwhile Affleck rekindled his romance with Lopez in April 2021. The two wed in Vegas in July 2022, followed by a lavish ceremony in Georgia in August. However, the pair's marriage has been hit by split claims for the past two months.